I'm trying to log in on, on Twitch on my laptop. We have to log in. <laughs> I'm in. We're in. <laughs> That's right. I, Shadow the Hedgehog, single-handedly hacked into the president's computer. And it's a level, apparently. <laughs> it's Am like fucking it? Tron. Am I an ambivalent enough man to kill the president? Ha! Trick question. I'm not a man. <laughs> and then people... That, that sets up the, the precedent of... Wait, is Shadow trying to say he's not a man because he's a hedgehog? Or is he trying to say he's trans? What is it? Who, who knows? And the answer is... Both! <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today, Cam? <sighs> well, you know... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of upset. Oh no, what happened? Well, you see, you see the thing. So the thing you've got to understand is, you know, we're we're playing Mad Max, mm -hmm. and, and to to play a game, you've truly got to tap into the into the source, into the title, and, and it's Mad Max. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get. I'm not mad yet, but I'm upset. I'm trying to get myself to the state of mad. So I can truly immerse myself in. So I can be Mad Max. Yeah, to, to, to really kind of like get there, you know, to get from where you are to get there. There's a lot of different levels you have to go through. Like, uh, from the sound of things, you're not even necessarily at Upsetty Spaghetti yet. Let me tell you, my noodles are barely even boiling. <laughs> That got me more than it should. <laughs> I said it with such a straight face, like this is gonna be a thing, whatever. He's gonna move on, and then it fucking it, it hobbled you, just like baseball bat to the knee. <laughs> you know, I like Tom Hardy, but sometimes you're in a different station. You're in this different state. In, in America, and you have to go to Tom Carl's Jr.'s. It's just a fact. Please tell me you understand that bit. <laughs> I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> I was like, this is a stretch. I don't know. Listen, sometimes sometimes you like Tom Hardy, but other times, like, you, you, you don't want something that's quite so abrasive, and you just need a Tom Softy. Sometimes you need a Tom, sometimes you need a Tom Softy. And you know... If you keep searching far and wide, you might eventually find a Tom just already. We can't have the Ripperoni rims. I, I was wondering if I was reading that right. Yeah, we got the Ripperonis, the Grindmasters, and the Upgrade oh. Locked. <laughs> upgrade Locked, that's a really fucking tight name. But we can't have rim attachments, unfortunately. Yeah, well, it's why. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, can we upgrade the harpoon? No, I would have been able to if I had not just bought the sniper rifle upgrade, but alas, we do not have thunderpoon yet. I. We do oh. not have sideburners yet. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Uh, can't upgrade, oh. <laughs> hang in there. Can't upgrade the repair speed. Uh, gonna go back to the wild hunt body <clears throat> shape. Oh, it's very good. Uh, we're gonna go. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, jeez, bad guys on their way. Wait, what was that? Oh god, there's so much happening. Oh Jesus! Shit, bug! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh fuck! Oh shit! Uh. Mm, okay. <laughs> fuck that guy. First off. I love the fuck the pop this of guy. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> I think I just landed on him. You, oh, he's okay. Oh, boo. Boom. And just to make sure, just kind of run over his corpse real quick. Alright. Uh, go over here. Go over here, chum bucket. Come on. He just raises a finger and says, Waiter! <laughs> uh, Garcon... Ow. Garcon die! <laughs> yeah, but in, it, just a Google image search. It is stupid cool. Yeah, what you have to understand is that Mad Max is a very specific flavor of post-apocalypse, and it's a flavor of post-apocalypse that literally everybody has been aping for years. Yeah, it, it's very, it's very much like traditional fantasy where it, it already feels worn out. 
mm -hmm. and and trite, even though it's not necessarily in the source. Yeah, because because the thing is, is that Mad Max was the first one to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, if you look at like the whole thing with like oh, uh, people in a post-apocalyptic world wearing just fucking bondage hold gear up, day to hold day. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Yeah, that person's just got feet sticking out the ground. Their their legs at the other end of the pole. Oh yeah. Is their body just? I think there. I think that's the bottom half of the dude on the right. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if I had to guess, can I? Well, oh we, wait, we... wait. No, you're right. Okay, yeah, it's just a bottom half. <laughs> that is. Uh, well, we answered that. <laughs> we answered that. But yeah, if if you. Have... Lord humongous. Lord Hungal and on a Lagonga. Ew. I hate it. I, I I don't like bondage gear at all. It makes me uncomfortable. But that's just like that's just like a dude putting on some stuff and then going like, I am. Uh, oh, uh, here's oh, my hero. Oh Christ. no! Christ! Oh. Mm. Hey, you survived. Nailed it. You survived. Maybe. Hope those guys don't follow me. I mean, if they do, it's their death. Probably. I'll go ahead and collect the scrap. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some maggots. See, it seems to me like the Mad Max thing is kind of like the, um, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings in that sense, where, like, you watch Lord of the Rings now, and a lot of it's very much like, uh, okay, so the elves are racist and high and mighty, and the orcs are stupid and okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's very much like, I've seen this a million times. It's kind of like that with, like, the dust and the dirt and the bondage gear apocalypse, yeah. but with Mad Max. Uh, the term is that it is a codifier, or a codifier. Okay, the, the one that made it a thing. Yeah. Okay. It's the source for, like, all that shit. So, like, when you when you hear, like, the dumb names, it's just like, yeah, that's just kind of how Mad Max's universe is. Like, Furiosa <laughs> is Imperator Furiosa. She that's a is, dumb, dumb name, though. It is. She is escorting five women who are named Toast the Knowing, the Dag, Cheeto the Fragile, the Splendid <laughs> Ang Herod. <laughs> Cheeto the Fragile? Cheeto the Fragile. Cheeto? Cheeto with a D. Che che I was hearing che Cheeto, and I was like, yeah, Cheetos are pretty fragile. <laughs> I can't confirm. I stock those shit at my, at my store, let me tell you. <laughs> they break like nothing. <laughs> so it's Cheeto the Fragile, Toast the Knowing, uh, the Splendid Ang Herod, Capable the Dag are the names yeah. of the women that she's escorting to the Green Place. Uh... Home of the home of the many mothers, also known as the tribe of the Vuvalini. So everything is just I, I'm not sure if I have my English right here, but everything's just like a noun. Yeah. <laughs> there's no names. I mean there's names. Max's name is definitely Max Rokotansky. That's a you know what, that's a fine name. <laughs> Compared to Scabby Scrotus or whatever. Scabber Scrotus, yes. Yes. <laughs> Damaged nutsack. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me let me tell you. Max Rokotansky is a very normal name in comparison. Yeah, uh, Immortan Joe had all of his kits after the apocalypse. That's why his name is Immortan Joe. Um, but like Sean Bean came back for that movie. Yeah, it's Sean Bean, funny. who was in the first movie and didn't really do anything in the first movie. And he fucking he ate shit in the second movie. Well, no, he was actually fine by the end of it. Wait, was he? So, if you recall, the second movie... I've seen the movie once, the by second, the way. <laughs> the second movie had, like, three sequel hooks. <laughs> You're right, because they passed by the, the... There's, the like, the prison bus. Um. Oh, my God, there's so much. So, let, I, let me count out the sequel hooks, because it's three sequel hooks within three minutes. I can't um, wait to watch that movie with you someday. So Sean Bean, who ostensibly in the movie has changed his name to Harry Mason uh, so that they mm -hmm. could stay one step ahead of the cult. Yeah. Um, he was cast in the first movie because he looks, because they wanted an actor who kind of looked like James Sunderland. <sighs> Which, okay. As far <sighs> as, like, casting for a movie adaptation of a video game goes, you could probably do worse with a Sean Bean, James Sunderland. That's true. Um, at the end of the second movie, he goes back into Silent Hill to find his wife. Right. 
So one Silent Hill two. Mm-hmm. Uh, set. Oh god, that guy sees me. Uh oh. Uh oh, stinky. Uh, so second. Smelly. Second, uh, sequel hook is actually a prequel hook, because mm-hmm. when they're walking out of Silent Hill, and they are trying to flag down somebody. To, and I remember sitting in the movie theater losing my mind because I saw that truck approaching from the distance <laughs> and I was just like, they are not going to fucking do this. They are not going to fucking do this. Dude pulls up, it's Travis fucking Grady. <laughs> Travis Grady from South Hill Origins. And he's just like, I haven't been through here in a long time. And it's just like, your fucking story does not even gel with the rest of this continuity. Not that it, yeah, anything it, else gels with anything else here. Like, but like they had they mangled a lot by that point. But Travis's story specifically is incompatible with that timeline. So you're gonna ha- they would have had to do like a lot of work on that one. Um, and then of course the uh, final sequel hook is the prison bus heading into Silent Hill because Downpour had just come out. Thank you, Corn. Thank you, Corn. Thank you, Corn. Put that freak back on the leash. Or so help me. So help me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Wow. What the F? Alright, so we're gonna... Can I, like... Why were you right next to it? That's a good question. <laughs> Why were you standing right on it? <laughs> you know... I'm not... Sure? Smart. <laughs> I don't make good decisions, but boy howdy, I sure make decisions. You, here's the thing: no one could deny that you make decisions. <laughs> They're not always great ones, but you do indeed make decisions. Uh-huh. We gotta collect all the scrot notes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rat soldier, rats, rats. We're the rats. We're the rats. We pray good night. We talk good night. night. We're, We're the, the rats. rats. Uh, hold, on, the hold on, 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 hold on. Do I have him on here? Hold on. Shit, where's the giant rat? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... The, no, it's so good. Also, I don't uh, know if you noticed that dude's name was Stump Grinder. I did notice. I don't <laughs> like it. I like... Holy, holy rusted crowbar, Batman. <laughs> and then Batman's like, crowbar. Oh, God, someone check on Todd. <laughs> oh, God. Someone check on Todd, please. <laughs> God. That's Jason Todd's one fucking weakness is a crowbar. Because <laughs> fucking the Joker I wanna... decks him with a crowbar, and then Dick also uses a crowbar on him. I want to see that shit on Jason Todd's wiki page. Known weaknesses, crowbars. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... <laughs> Jason Todd. <laughs> so... Known weaknesses include crowbars. <laughs> Known weaknesses include crowbars, emotional vulnerability. This is a commonality within the Bat family. I... I'm gonna take this spear. No, I'm not. Shotgun shell. I like his blue face. He just has blue on his face. He's very sad. He's blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Dabba dee dabba die. Dabba dee dabba die. <laughs> Camilla out here like, good. Golly gosh, who could have done this? Done I this. wonder as I like to whirl around with, with no sense of. Goodness gracious. What was that? No- oh, fuck! <laughs> what is there happening? There they go. <laughs> there was a what tornado! The- that tornadoes can just happen? Y- y- yeah. <laughs> I, I guess. I, I mean, they, they've been working on stuff like that since 
they they, they like uh, at, at avalanche they like having it's in their name they like having natural things just occur <laughs> from the environment <laughs> avalanche <laughs> tornadoes who knows sometimes things occur and when they do Oh, bye. Damn, the dirt texture, like the sand, that looks incredible. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Fuck! Hey, everybody, how's it going? Y'all doing okay? That's nice. Yoink. Breaking this. Oh, just fury mode right away. Okay. That was awesome. Thank you. Oh, Suplex. I love the kick. I love that fucking kick. Fuck yeah. Body slams. Just pick up body, throw body, pick up body, throw body. Let's get a real good look at this here. Well, let's see that His one. His neck up. is at a 90 Ooh. degree angle. This man had a neck. <laughs> Holy shit! Can I? Can I? Can we like? How close in? How can? How close in here can we get? Can we like really just sort of? You can doing you okay there, sir? <laughs> Max is just like another day in the job. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let's uh. <laughs> Anyways, now it's time for some uh, chill ass sniper times. Hmm. Seems like they got a lot of bad shit. We're just gonna go over here and do a little snipey. Oh, I don't have any fucking ammo! <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. Well, this, it's time to do this the hard way, I guess. Oh, no, not you guys. You guys leave. War boys don't interact. Oop. Mm, don't like that. Not one bit. Where are you anchored? You're anchored up there. I need to go up there. I was all set to have fucking chill ass sniper times, and then I was just like, shit, I'm out of fucking ammo. Damn it. Bug. Don't. You. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck. Ooh! Shiv? I don't give a shiv. I don't give a fuck. Uh, fu what? Okay. God damn it. Damn, they hit. Okay, everybody leave me alone for like two seconds. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Can I just... Can I live? Uh, whoa. Whoa. That boy travel. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, everybody. You gonna you gonna funnel them all in like this? Oh, I see. Hup. Genius. <laughs> that could have wow. gone worse. That could have gone way worse. Nice. Hold on. Use your fucking. <laughs> just this is really cool in the moment you unpause the game his, he gets his fucking lights knocked out god damn god damn okay so what do you have on you oh, oh there's another one seven scrap oh this dude oh 
Oh, fuck! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. God damn, you stomped his ass out. That's what he fucking gets. That's a really cool weapon. And now I have two shotgun shells. Hell yeah. So that works out really well for me. Hold on to those shells. So... Uh, okay, there are bear traps around here. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to... Oh. I don't want to get beamed. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yo, this is... This looks rad as fuck. Hold on. Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Hold on. Okay, so here's the thing, though. The last time I got stuck in a sandstorm, a piece of debris came out of nowhere, beamed me in the head, and I died immediately. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I'm actually kind of scared right now. You're doing good so far. Uh, Up here, maybe? Oh, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. You did it. No more okay. sandstorm. Appropriately enough, it's called Storm Shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I keep going to this side, but the wheel's on this side because we're in Aussie land. Oh fuck! What? I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so the Mad Max series takes place entirely in Australia. Ah, uh, I see. I'm sure there have been a lot of jokes made uh, by Americans about how it's. Uh, it takes place in the modern day. <laughs> it's just a documentary, yeah. It's just a die, yeah. I'm sure that joke <laughs> has been made many times. Oh yeah, hundred <sighs> percent. Jesus, it's a little less funny now after all, like the wildfires it's a lot and everything. Less <laughs> funny now, yeah. But I for a while, was... it was a pretty good joke. <laughs> for a while, it was a pretty good joke, I bet. And now, oh, no, no I bet. Oh, I might. We I need would to have like a talk. to kill you from very far away. And I would similarly like to kill you. Oh, no. What I'm happened? out of sniper ammo. Oh, no. I... It means you'll just have to run him over, mate. Oi. Crikey. I don't. I'm not good with Aust Australian accents. I'm not good with accents. Cor, Cor blimey. Cor blimey. Oh. What a what a raw cooker he is. Yeah, that. Yoink! Hi, <laughs> fucking awesome. Jesus. This is my yoink stick. I just got a text. One second. This is my yoink stick. I hate that. <laughs> it's not a bad world, but I kind of don't want it stuck in my head right now. Appropriately, it's a very, 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 very mad world. No. Because it's Mad Max. This is Mad World. By Tears for Fears. <laughs> oh, I just ran over a dead body. <laughs> dead body. <laughs> Yeet. Now you are the dead body. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh my goodness! That was amazing. You ever see a man unfurl from the fifth dimension? <laughs> I'm go. I'm. I'm something go here. about something about that map reminds me a lot of Red Faction Guerrilla. I was actually playing that the other day. Yeah. Um, I got uh the remastered edition. Fuck yeah! I hate that name. I know it's great. <laughs> so good it's um i've never beaten it but i've played the game a bit it's fun yeah it's too bad that uh neither that nor the definitive edition or the war mastered edition of darksiders 2 and 1 respectively were actually published by anyone that i could like give uh credit for those names it's a really yeah. a damn shame it's really a damn shame it's just weird that those games just kind of went out without publishers you know it's we uh, uh, 